Hi guys, and welcome back to Legend of Ze Let's Play Legend of Zelda with me, Old School Oriole Diseases, and now we can cut stuff because we got the wooden sword. Yeah, we can actually protect ourselves. Anyway, okay. So, ow, owie. Oh my god, it's winter up here again. Those, the harvest is going to shit. But anyway, now that we have the wooden sword, we can go on this snow bank. No, we can't. Well, we can, <laughs> because we just did. But we can go see the Maku tree now. Very important. Very important that we can go on that snow bank. But anyway, what's this guy's got to say? His face doesn't even... What? It, it looks like he's like halfway between Mickey Mouse and a mask. The season's are a mess, huh? -huh. Winter goes straight into summer, uh huh? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> it's just because of whatever that is on his hair. Wait, it's all screwed up back there. Now, this is important later on. Meru's residence, the Maku tree, this clock shop, but right now, eh, it's not even important. So, we're gonna come back there later. It's basically a side quest, but right now it doesn't help us. So, hello, Vassal. Hello, guys. Hello, Maku Tree. Just go up here, show your sword, show that you're the hero of courage. Can't just show your hand and be like, I'm the hero of courage. Basically, wake this guy up by popping his bubble. Too bad we can't get that Gasha seed. Oh god, I gotta keep, I gotta think of names. Oh, who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? Hmm, what? Din was taken while I slept. There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons. This is awful. God in the Oracle is my duty. Haha, uh -huh, you said duty. But anyway. Alas, how I've withered. What's to be done, Alex? With the seasons and chaos, a land is robbed of the very essence of nature. Draining all of my might. Can you save Din in my stead? It is all this Maku tree has ever asked. I sense evil on the northern peak where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onox cast the shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in holodrum. Gathering all eight is the only option. The essences possess the sacred power of nature with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. Shall I repeat it? Uh, you try to trick us. No, you shall not. Then I give you this key. Go to the giant root near the lake up north. The first essence should be there, but I expect some resistance. Be careful. I'll just, uh, oh, rest until, oh, so tired. Oh, my weary bones, no energy. Ziz, 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 ziz. Did, did you make the Z's? The Z's? Yeah, you know, did you, did you repose? Repose? Make the Z's. <laughs> oh, you mean sleep. Yes, yeah, make the Z's. <laughs> Sorry, little, um... Everything is illuminated reference right there. You should see it if you haven't. Great movie. With, um... Eugene Hutz! Of Gogo Bordello in it. Makes me so happy. But anyway... For those of you... Well, first we can go back here and... Hello, Impa! How's it going? Cut up some grass, because... I want to get something before I leave. I forgot. I want something before we leave Horon Village. Um, because as you can see, we don't have a shield. Which can come in a little handy. So let's see if I can just get four rupees. Oh wait, is it 30? I think it's 40, but I might be dreadfully wrong. Let's just see. Basically, this is the shop. And it is only 30. Okay, that's cool. And you can get bombs right away, which is also very handy. Especially with the dungeon that comes up, because... Well, you'll see. We've got a wooden shield, so now we can protect ourselves. And as you can see, we can go past the counter, but I'm sorry, sir. You cannot enter here without a member's card. Are you curious? What's back there is a secret. <laughs> so yeah, basically we have to do another side quest to get a member's card to go back there. And he's got a whole another shop with lots of goodies. Aw, poor guy. Now it's just a bud. But it'll be a huge flower in spring. If you climb on that flower, I can't wait. <laughs> Don't even know what kind of voice I'm giving him. Anyway, uh, 
we do have a gaseous seed, so I'm gonna plant it right here. We'll just it'll probably be sprouted by the time we're out of the dungeon, so as well as that one in front of Mayor Rule's house. Now, one little thing before we get going into that temple. We've got a we've got a little friend from another game that I wanna visit really quick. Hmm, cuckoos. Who could this be? My dad, Talon, wanted want, went to climb Mount Cuckoo, so I have to care for our hands. But there's ever so much I don't know. Basically, this is Malin. Um, and we are going to be helping her out in another side quest. A collection side quest. But for now, let's just take care of that temple. What time am I up to? I'm doing okay. Should get like halfway through. Now, some of you might recognize this certain layout and this certain dungeon. But can you tell me what it is? Level 1, Gnarled Root Dungeon. If you're guessing it's the dungeon from the first Legend of Zelda game, you might be right. Because it's... I'm pretty... It's supposed to be an homage to the first one. There are a lot of homages to, um... A lot of other Legend of Zelda games that we'll get to later, but... Well, one was Ma Malon. Um, because I believe this came out after Orca Ocarina of Time, not, um... Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I'm just play picturing an orc playing it with his stubby green fingers. Basically, this guy just tells us, Return light to our light torches. Which will come in handy once we get an item that can do that. But anyway. Um, <laughs> orc arena of time. But yeah, Malon was one. A gnarled root being um, a reference to the very first Legend of Zelda game is another. And there are a bunch of other ones. That we'll see later. It's a dungeon map! It's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map! It's the map! I don't know why I gave that kid that voice, because that's the, that's the voice of the creepy old man from Family Guy, isn't it? So this is a new thing that never came into any other game. There's these little mine carts that you can jump into and they'll basically take you down the track. And why did I jump in that again? Because I didn't have to jump into it to show you guys what it does because you just saw it. And it comes up quite a lot actually in this game, which I don't have a problem with because it's, it's, it's fun and interesting. But I don't know. It, it feels like they're, they're, they could have used a few more puzzles. Now let's see if I can remember this, because this is a puzzle. Uh, let's see. Push down, push down. Oh, I guess it doesn't... Did I just screw that up? Uh-oh. I think I just screwed that up. <laughs> um... No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Anyway, what we are getting in here is... Da 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 da! Another Gash of Seed. And we're gonna get these even more often than anything else. <laughs> like, you'd think they'd be hard to find, that they'd be once-off things, but no, we find these things, like, like, these things go faster than hotcakes or something, I don't know. <laughs> Found the compass! What did we find, uh, one of those new PS3s with the, 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 the GPS and the compass and the, and the, and the, uh, the fancy smancy gadgets? Oh, and you don't have to jump onto these from that platform, you can jump onto them from wherever you want, but it's a moot point, so I don't know why I brought it up. Now, for some reason, whenever I go through this dungeon, I always forget about that chest, which is not a good thing, because you need to actually come in and get this chest. But I forget that there's no barrier there to keep you from getting it. We got ten bombs! Especially because we didn't get bombs from that guy earlier. Now this, bombs, absolutely best weapon in this game. Unfortunately, it's also the absolute best weapon in the very first Legend of Zelda game, which doesn't make sense to me because nobody ever uses bombs in the first one. Anyway, we got a small key. Open a locked door or a small block in this dungeon. You'll see why I consider bombs so useful in this game in a little bit. 
but for right now... Oh yeah! This is also, again, same engine as they used in Link's Awakening, so you can throw bombs from holding them. Unfortunately, I don't believe you can pick them up. You might be able to with the power bracelet, it's just... I'm not completely sure, I can never remember. Okay... And same thing, sliding guns... I guess I could talk about what's going on. Um... Well, no I can't because we get a mini-boss! Growler! You cannot pass! And basically this, these guys are sometimes hard, sometimes easy. But I've already lost two hearts. Great. I'm being an idiot. Stop talking for a second so you cannot die. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Okay, good. They're sometimes hard, they're sometimes easy. But basically, they're showing off the weapon that we don't get in this. Or do we? I can never remember. <laughs> I don't know, one of the things that I loved about this game was just the fact that they mixed... that they had these 2D platformer parts in them also. I'm trying to think. We get a seed satchel, and it has 20 ember seeds, so basically this is like the, um... magic seed satchel from Link's Awakening. Um... Or whatever it was. We're going to be using this more often than anything else in the game. And I will show you why. Because we get, like, five different types of seeds, I believe. One of them is completely useless. But the others are pretty useful, actually. Anyway, let's just warp back here for a moment. Get out our... No. Leave the sword there. Get out our seeds. And see what has to do here. Basically, you plant them in... Basically, with the seeds, you're going to be using them a whole lot for just that. Um, the ember seeds, at least. You're just going to be using them mostly to open doors like that. Mostly for different puzzles and stuff. And we got the boss key, already! Um... Oh, shoot. I gotta, I gotta wrap this up quick, um, in a little bit. So we're at about ten minutes. Uh, I'm trying to do a better job with actually keeping track of time so I can do an outro instead of just being like, oh, whoops, I've been going for 30 minutes. Can't do an outro now, can I? Oh shoot, that's right, we gotta kill these guys before we can leave. But anyway, what's been going on here? What's been going on here? Well, I live in Massachusetts, so a couple weeks ago we got hit by a tornado. But now pretty much most of the s Everybody's kind of gotten into... A lot of people have gotten back to business as usual. I mean, not everybody, because... I mean, Brimfield and such are still... ...really hurt. Because they don't... They still don't have power a lot. Oh... Do they have power? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to ask. Um, because I know some people that live up there, but a lot of places just don't have power, still. We got a ring! Get it priest later! Now, the most important part with bombs is that there is a ring that we can actually... We can actually get that makes it so that bombs will not explode while we're holding them, so we can carry bombs as long as we want, which comes in extremely handy. Okay, sometimes there's a Deku that sells you stuff, I can't remember. Is it? No. Okay. There are some dungeons where Dekus will sell you stuff right before the boss. Just to be handy. But... Yeah, I guess not now, so... Well, I'm gonna end it here, guys, and we'll take on the boss next episode. In... Let's play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Mio Fu, and I'll show you why bombs are so handy. Let's just equip those quick. No, I don't. I want to keep the... actually. I am going to equip the bombs for... for A. But anyway, the next time I will show you why they're so handy, and we'll take care of this boss. Alright guys, take it easy.